Hi friends, Zoe here. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about happiness. So stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a little bit of a giveaway for you and I really hope that you enter and partake in the contest. So let's get started. All right, so in my life, I'd say in the past, really in the past couple of weeks, I've been really reflective on the relationships I have in my life with people and just the relationships I see going on around in the world. And mostly, probably because I'm female, I'm just taking more of a time to look at female and female relationships. So what I mean by that is women supporting other women. I think that there's a serious lack of it. An example of this would be the recent kind of drama, I guess, that's going on with Emma Watson and the magazine that she recently shot for. I'm sure you've seen it on Twitter or on Facebook trending and things like that and how she's receiving backlash for showing a little bit more skin and how she can't be taken seriously because of that. It's really terrible to see that other women trying to take other women down like that on Twitter, on social media, but it happens on a regular basis and I'm going to share a couple stories with you that happened to me this week. So on Friday, I was out at a pizza place and, and I really like to take the time when I'm out at restaurants and things like that to practice my Italian. So I was in there, I was positive, kind of bubbly, and I was asking her about the different pizzas and really making sure that I was saying all the different vegetables that were on it, things like that. And I guess I said a word wrong. And after I placed my order to her, she turned around to the other girl who was working there and she mimicked me and laughed. And I was literally standing right there. It was super rude, to be honest. It was very rude and it made me feel very uncomfortable. And I just couldn't understand why this woman who I had never met before. I was coming in there positive. I was really trying, obviously, to speak Italian, and she felt the need to bring me down. And I know that when people are mean to other people, it's just because they are facing an insecurity themselves. But I think that the reason why some people are so unhappy is because they don't feel they can be happy for other people. I think that there are a lot of women out there who are insecure and they can't accept another female success because obviously somebody like Emma Watson, she's inspiring, she's beautiful, she's super successful and I think maybe that some people are scared of that because she shines so bright but the thing is if you want to shine bright, if you want to be successful in your life, you need to support those types of people because instead of feeling jealous, you need to recognize that something that they have is something that you wish for your own life. So you need to be happy for them and you need to watch what they're doing and pick out the pieces of their lives that you feel like maybe you could work on. Maybe it's being a little bit more positive. Maybe it's going out of your comfort zone a little bit more to go to events. Maybe it's trying harder to converse with people in a new language. And like I said, it's just been something I've noticed this week in regards to women and women. Anastasia and I, we filmed another collaboration this weekend and we were filming it at Piazza Navona and there was two women police officers there who were just kind of walking around the piazza just making sure everything was fine. And me and Anastasia were there at 6.30 a.m. amongst probably five to seven others who we saw walking around with tripods stopping and taking photos. And so we set up our tripod and the yoga mats and we were going to start the workout. And these women come over to us and they said, no, no yoga mats, take them away. So we're like, okay, we'll roll them up, and then they left, and we started doing our thing. Then they came back and told us we need to move our camera farther back. So we move our camera farther back, and then they leave, and then they come back again. And meanwhile, there's tons of other people in the piazza, and they only were having an issue with us. We were super friendly to them, and obviously enjoying ourselves, and we were super excited to film this collab. And so these women come back after, probably about 10 minutes or so, and tell us no tripods, like what are you doing with these tripods? And they'd been there, they'd been in the piazza basically the whole time and they continued to bug us, I guess, <laughs> about what we were doing and then finally tell us no, you can't do it at all. There was so many other people in the piazza who had tripods up and they were only coming to us and getting upset with us. And there were women, and it just kind of brought me back to everything that I've been witnessing this past couple weeks. Like I said, whether it be on social media or in my real life, I, I just feel like women have a really hard time supporting other women. And like I said, I think the reason why people are so unhappy and they feel the need to bother others or you know be unkind or mimic or make fun of others is because there's something inside of them that isn't happy. But if you can be a strong and supportive woman, how amazing does it feel to support somebody that you truly believe in, that you are proud of? And I've 
had this, I, I've experienced this throughout my entire life, but I, th I think in the past week or two, it's really come at me because I feel like it's meant to be that I make this video and kind of talk about it a little bit. I've experienced this in my life with friendships. You know, I have friends in my life or people who I thought that were my friends who I'd continually send support and love to, but I don't get it in return and it's fine. I've had friends who I thought were my friends who make fun of me because I'm on YouTube. You know, it really hurts me that women can't support other women. And especially because gender inequality is something that our world faces on a daily basis. And it just, it just really bothers me that women can't support other women. And so I want you guys to really think about this concept that if something that you really want, if you want success, if you want a good relationship, if you want an amazing job and you see other women achieving that and having that, don't feel envious or jealous. Try to recognize those feelings in yourself and maybe it's human nature to feel them slightly for a minute, but stop yourself, recognize them, and then ask yourself, what is it that they have that I want? How are they achieving that happiness and how can I have that? You need to be happy for other people to be able to feel that yourself. You don't want to live in this bubble of negativity and and jealousy and, and mixed unhappy feelings. Strive to be a better you every single day. Recognize the things that you need to work on after you recognize what you're jealous of or what's triggering you and make an effort. Be happy for people and you will attract that happiness into your own life and figure out where it is in your life that you're unhappy and where you're complaining consistently. I have a video all about complaining and how to stop, I'll leave it below. But if you can recognize negative little alarms that are going off in your mind if you can recognize that and try to look at it like a mirror like what am i seeing in her that's upsetting me and ask yourself is it something you need to work on is it positivity is it a happy relationship you're wishing to have stop feeling negative and when you recognize what makes you feel negative you can reverse that and you will allow so much positivity and happiness into your life i'm so sure of it so support each other, and by supporting each other, you're supporting yourself. By being happy for somebody else, you're spreading happiness. How much better does it feel to give than it is to receive? Really, just look at your own life and ask yourself those questions. And yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today because it's something I've been facing this week, and it does upset me. It does upset me to lose friends, or people who I thought were my friends who can't seem to support and love me like I have supported and loved them. It hurts when strangers are unkind, when you're trying to be kind. I know that this video is kind of geared towards women because it's just something, like I said, I noticed. But any guys watching too, let me know if you can relate to this. Also, I wanted to do a bit of a giveaway for you guys to thank you for all of your support and love. And this video is not sponsored, but a Happiness Boutique, I'll make sure I link them below. They sent me an amazing couple of statement pieces that I want you guys to have because I can't thank you enough for all of your continual love and support and being well over 40k it's just mind blowing and like I said I can't thank you enough so I'm going to leave the contest details below but basically I want you to use the hashtag be happy and then let me know something that makes you happy or somebody that you're happy for below. If we can just spread the positivity around here, we're all going to feel really great. I'm going to show you both of these statement pieces. I have worn one in a previous video and I got some compliments from you guys, so thank you so much. So this is one of the statement pieces here. Very beautiful. And statement pieces are excellent for a minimalist wardrobe because if you have one or two, you can switch up any outfit and dress it right up. The next one is this blue one here that I wore before and it is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let me know which necklace you would like to receive. We'll call this one necklace A, and we'll call this one necklace B. So use hashtag be happy, let me know which necklace you'd like, and let me know something that makes you happy, or somebody that you are very happy for in your life. So big thank you to the Happiness Boutique for giving back to all of us, and allowing me to do this giveaway with you. There is also going to be a discount code, which I'll leave the information down below. Big thanks to them, and again, big thanks to you. I am just so grateful. I love you all so much, and I hope that you're having an amazing day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.